Welcome to CounterSpy 3. CounterSpy 3 is the next generation high performance anti spyware program. CounterSpy provides powerful protection against today's highly complex threats such as adware, spyware, and other potentially unwanted programs. CounterSpy is fast and efficient, completely engineered from the ground up for high performance. CounterSpy is backed by the expertise of Sunbelt Software's Malware Research Labs, one of the leading security research organizations in the world today. CounterSpy is also the first anti-spyware program to feature innovative home site licensing. For one fee, one license covers all the computers in your home. As part of Sunbelt's all-new Viper family of products, CounterSpy includes the Viper anti-malware technology. With CounterSpy, you get a full range of anti-spyware features, including spyware detection and removal, real-time active protection, and useful tools. CounterSpy's big brother, Viper, includes additional features specific to viruses. You can use CounterSpy right alongside your existing antivirus program, or, for a small fee, upgrade at any time to Sunbelt's Viper antivirus and anti-spyware. So, let's take a quick look at CounterSpy 3. CounterSpy has been created to work as you do with an easy, simple interface designed for both new and advanced users. The main overview screen gives you the status of CounterSpy. On the left, there is the status of CounterSpy's key components. On the upper right is what we call CounterSpy's Active Space, which provides real-time, live information from our research center. This dedicated area in CounterSpy allows our researchers to give you immediate information of any major security issues on the Internet. On the lower right is a statistics section showing you how many times you've scanned with CounterSpy and how many risks have been found and removed. CounterSpy is designed to be as self-explanatory and straightforward as possible, with sections for scanning, management, and tools. Let's take a look at the scanning section. On the scan screen, you can choose a quick scan or a deep scan, which takes longer but is more thorough. The custom scan option lets you choose what areas you want to scan. You can also fine-tune your scanning options. For now, let's just do a quick scan. While the scan is running, you can also do other things, check out other areas of the program, or even go back to your normal work, such as checking email. When the scan is completed, you can get more information on what was found by clicking Risk Details. Our expert researchers also determine whether a threat should be quarantined, removed, or allowed based on a number of characteristics. For example, some types of programs, such as remote monitoring software, may pose a potential security risk in the wrong hands. But you can tell CounterSpy to ignore it if you actually want it on your system. CounterSpy will always tell you as much as possible about the threat and provide a recommendation. The Manage section helps you manage certain parts of CounterSpy, such as your scan history and items that have been quarantined. Always Blocked and Always Allowed is where you can fine-tune CounterSpy's active protection to allow or block certain programs. We'll discuss active protection in a little more detail later. Finally, Schedule Scans lets you choose when you want to run scans of your system. System Tools is a collection of useful tools that can help improve your security. Use a secure file eraser to permanently remove files from your system. The History Cleaner can clean out the history of where you've been on the Internet for privacy purposes. And PC Explorer has useful features to delve under the hood of your computer. Let's take a look at how to customize some of CounterSpy's options. You can edit a number of settings from the overview screen. If you choose Schedule Scans, for example, you can customize the times you want to run a scan in your system. We suggest that you time your scans to when your computer is on but is not being used. Now, let's take a look at the settings for active protection. This is one of the most important parts of CounterSpy, and it's worth explaining how it works. Active protection is CounterSpy's proprietary and powerful real-time detection of potentially dangerous or bad programs. Active protection has three layers of detection, signature, heuristic, and behavior. These concepts might sound complex, but they're actually simple, and I'll explain them briefly. Signature detection is when CounterSpy's active protection detects an exact match against a known bad file, such as a piece of spyware. In this case, the file is immediately blocked to ensure that your system is not infected. Heuristics is a fancy word for a scientific form of guessing. Heuristics look for known bad patterns inside a file. For example, let's say a new variation of an existing piece of spyware has been released. CounterSpy already knows what the existing piece of spyware looks like, so it can use that information to help catch the new variation. Finally, behavior detection looks at how a program actually behaves. For example, many spyware programs do predictable things to your system. They may change your home page on your browser, or they may insert certain information on your computer. Behavior detection looks for these telltale signs and will prompt you if something looks suspicious. Behavior detection is the one aspect of CounterSpy's active protection that you can customize yourself. Active
Active Protection is designed to be light on system resources. It's worth noting, however, that enabling Active Protection while running another security product's real-time protection, such as an antivirus program, may cause issues with system performance. If you are running another security product with its own real-time protection enabled, and you observe an impact on system performance, we recommend that you disable CounterSpy's real-time protection. So, back to the Active Protection settings screen. This area allows you to fine-tune CounterSpy's heuristic and signature detection. We recommend you leave the default settings in place for now. They can be adjusted as you continue to work with the program. This section is the primary method of setting CounterSpy's behavior detection. It can be tuned to be very sensitive to potentially dangerous behavior by being set to high. However, that setting will result in potentially numerous prompts as you work on your computer. We recommend keeping it at the medium setting. You can also configure CounterSpy's behavior detection in the custom settings. We only recommend this for advanced users. You can further customize CounterSpy by going to the settings menu. We encourage you to explore the program and read the documentation. And don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this presentation on CounterSpy.